Hello and welcome to this webinar on best practices for HIT generation. This webinar was created by the Best Practices in Medicinal Chemistry Working Group for the European Federation for Medicinal Chemistry and Chemical Biology, also referred to as the EFMC. This is an international group of people from different pharmaceutical companies, CROs and academia. And the aim of this webinar is to give a comprehensive overview of the different strategies used for HIT generation in drug discovery. The overview of this webinar is delineated on the current slide. The webinar is split into four sections, introduction to HIT generation, classical screening strategies, novel screening strategies, and integrated HIT generation strategies. In this opening section, we will give an introduction to HIT generation and where it fits in the drug discovery lifecycle. We will define what is a HIT and the difference between a validated HIT and a high quality HIT. And finally, we will also give a summary of the high level strategies that should be considered to maximize the potential to successfully progress a HIT. The contents of this slide will be familiar to the audience. It gives a summary of the different stages in the drug discovery and development life cycle. The process can be split into five distinct stages, drug discovery, preclinical, clinical trials, FDA review and commercialization. This can be a long process, typically taking 10 to 15 years from the initial hit generation to the actual FDA approved drug. It is important to note here the number of compounds that are evaluated at each stage of the drug discovery pipeline. In the initial stages of HIT generation, sometimes up to 10 million compounds can be assessed against the target. During the HIT to lead and lead optimization campaigns that follow, hundreds or thousands of analogues will be synthesized and tested against the target of interest. In the preclinical stage, the number of compounds being evaluated will be whittled down from hundreds to single digits. And during the clinical trial part of a program, the compounds will be tested against a gradually increasing number of people and if the compound successfully progresses, this will culminate in an FDA approved drug. As this demonstrates, it takes many years and many compounds to get a drug. We will show in this webinar that having a robust hit generation strategy is crucial, as it will set the stage to identify good chemical starting points. So, where does hit generation fit in the drug discovery process? This slide gives an expanded view of the drug discovery process from target identification until candidate selection and shows where HIT generation fits in this sequence. After target identification and validation, HIT generation occurs. HIT generation can be split into two distinct stages, HIT identification and HIT validation. In the HIT identification stage, it is necessary to invest in assay development and assay automation in order to secure a reliable and robust primary screen to identify the initial HITs. In the HIT validation stage, HIT selection and triaging occurs. The HITs obtained need to be confirmed through testing in counter screens, orthogonal and secondary assays, and the identity and integrity of the HIT compounds has to be confirmed through analytical methods. The combination of HIT identification and HIT validation is referred to as HIT generation and this is a crucial step in the drug discovery process. Before we can proceed further, it is imperative that we define the difference between a HIT, a validated HIT and a high quality HIT. As is delineated in the slide, there are varying requirements that must be met before a HIT can be promoted to a validated HIT and to a high quality HIT. It is necessary to point out that these are not strict definitions and colloquially these may have slightly different interpretations in your company or institution. But for the purpose of this webinar, a HIT is defined as a compound which shows activity against a target of interest which has been identified in a primary assay. A validated HIT has been further characterised. The target activity on the primary assay has been confirmed in a dose responsive manner. Furthermore, the compound has shown functional relevance and ideally target engagement. Additionally, the chemical structure has been confirmed and the stability and purity has been verified. A high quality HIT is a validated HIT with attractive properties for optimization. So what does this mean? It must show relevant affinity for a target of interest, selectivity against any known related targets and attractive DMPK. 
the compound should not be a singleton, and the IP situation has been analysed and deemed attractive. And for strategies for assessing hit quality, please see our upcoming webinar on tactics for selecting a chemical starting point. Hit generation, like drug discovery itself, is a multi-parameter and multi-discipline process. There are a number of factors that need to be considered and critically assessed on the journey to finding high quality hits. It is essential that the appropriate biologically relevant assay is developed for the target. As is becoming more commonplace of an industry, a strategic and resource efficient approach is to select the appropriate screening libraries based on prior target knowledge. For a development of a suitable hit validation flowchart is essential, and it's also necessary to evaluate the chemical properties of the hits. The aspects that need to be considered during the multi-parameter hit generation process can be divided into three sections. There are the target related strategies, which are dependent on the properties of the biological target, such as whether it is membrane bound or a soluble protein. What is the desired mechanism of action? How do you demonstrate target engagement? Do you screen a large library or one that is tailored to the target of interest? All of these points will have to be considered in order to maximize the chance of finding high quality hits. The biological and disease relevance is a second aspect that has to be taken into consideration. What is the primary assay? Is it a binding or a functional assay? Do you use a biochemical or a cellular assay? What secondary, more biologically relevant assay needs to be implemented? How do you assess selectivity? And finally, there are the compound related parameters, such as the structural identity, purity and stability in addition to assessing the DMPK parameters of the HIT. On this slide, we cover some of the high level strategies for HIT generation. An analysis of 66 HIT to candidate pairs published in a paper from the Journal of Medicinal Chemistry showed there are six common high level strategies that are used in drug discovery for HIT generation. The most popular approach is to begin from a known starting point this can either be an existing hit or a probe or from an endogenous ligand. The second most prevalent approach is to start with an unbiased screen, where a high throughput screen of a large compound collection is tested against the target. In silico screens using computational techniques to virtually dot compounds in the target of interest, and then using these docking results to select compounds for testing was implemented 14% of the time in this study. The next most popular technique is to perform a focus screen, where smaller compound sets are chosen based on prior knowledge of the target. Next, there are fragment screens, using low molecular weight compounds which are screened against the target at high concentrations. And finally, encoded libraries are a more recent and emerging area that will probably grow in the future. The choice of strategy depends on multiple factors, such as the target properties, technical feasibility, and overall costs and multiple strategies should be run in parallel to increase the chance of success. And this is called integrated hit generation. Hit generation is a crucial part of the drug discovery process. In this slide, we show two contrasting scenarios. One case where you start with challenging hits and one where a program commences with high quality hits. In the example with challenging hits, it will take multiple years with a greater chance of failure to realise a drug candidate. Additional validation and screening will be needed and a longer, more complex multi-parameter optimization will be required, increasing the effort for the hit to lead generation. In the opposing instance, where a programme begins with high quality hits, it will take significantly less time to retrieve a drug candidate. No further validation will be needed and therefore there will be a rapid hit to lead generation. We shall show in this webinar how access to high quality hits will increase the likelihood of success in drug discovery. Please listen to the rest of the webinar where we will go into more detail about the different strategies used for hit generation.